Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about, well, I'm gonna be explaining how I lost over $2,200 um, in cryptocurrency over a small mistake that was easily avoidable. Um, so I, the reason I tell you this story is so that you don't make the same mistake I did. And basically what happened was I had some USD Tether, which is a type of a stable coin, which is, um, you know, one USD Tether equals one US dollar. So I had around 1700 um, Tether tokens that I was sending into the exchange that was connected to my bank account. Um, little did I know that the address the exchange gave me was ERC20, which means that it is Ethereum based. And the USD Tether tokens that I had were BEP20, which means they were only compatible with the smart chain network. So basically what I did was, I sent BEP20 tokens to an ERC20 network, um, which is two completely different you know, languages. Um, so the, the BEP20 tokens I sent never arrived and they, they're just lost forever. Um, now, this is an easily avoidable mistake. Um, I was a beginner and obviously still am kind of a beginner, but this is one of the biggest mistakes I made in I could have easily avoided this by just sending a small test amount. Um, you know, I could have easily just sent like 20 bucks just to test out and make sure that the address was compatible, but I didn't. Um, instead, I ended up losing everything. And also I should have double checked and understood what the difference was between a BEP20 token and the ERC20 network. Um, because at the time, I didn't really think it was a big detail, um, but it was obviously. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's that's the mistake I made. And it's easily avoidable, again, if you just double check the network that you're using and send small test amounts. Uh, luckily, this was only a stable coin, so it's not like I sent Ethereum over because that would have hurt more, especially as Ethereum's price keeps going up. But still kind of stings, but hey, it's a learning lesson. So hopefully um, you guys learn from my mistakes and do not make the same mistakes that I did. Um, I've tried to contact Newton Newton's customer support. They said they were going to help me, but they never did. Um, so, you know, it is what it is, um, but hopefully you guys get to learn from it. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching.